it is going to crash and it's going to fall pretty hard because markets are ruled right now by fear. Uh, investors and the big money, the smart money, uh, I'm talking about uh, the big funds, the hedge funds, the institutions, they don't buy this rescue plan. Uh, they, they basically um, they know the market is toast. They know the stock market is finished. The euro, as far as they're concerned, they don't really care. They're moving their money away to safer uh, assets, uh, like treasury bonds, 30-year uh, bonds, and the U.S. dollar. Um, so it's not going to work. We, we keep hearing that whatever they, the politicians are suggesting, and admittedly it's all been rather woolly so far, isn't right. Can you pin down exactly what would keep investors happy, make them feel more confident? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, Personally, uh, it doesn't matter. That, that's see, I'm a trader. Uh, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I go with what the, I, if I see an opportunity to make money, I go with that. Um, so for most traders, it's not about, it's, we don't really care that much how they're going to fix the economy, how they're going to fix the, uh, the whole situation. Our job is to make money from it. And personally, I've been dreaming of this one for three years. Uh, I, I had a confession, which is, uh, I go to bed every night, I dream of another recession. I dream of another moment like this. Why? Because uh, people don't seem to uh, maybe remember, but uh, the 30s depression, the depression in the 30s, wasn't just about a market crash. There were some people who were prepared to make money from that crash. And I think anybody can do that. It, it isn't just for some people in the elite. Anybody can actually make money. It's an opportunity. Uh, when the market crashes, uh, when the euro and the big stock markets crash, if you know what to do, um, if, if you have the right plan to set up, uh, you can you can make a lot of money from this. Uh, for example, hedging strategies is one. Um, then investing in bonds, treasury bonds, that sort of stuff. If you could see the people around me, jaws have collectively dropped at what you've just said. I mean, we, we appreciate your candor. However, it doesn't help the rest of us, does it, or the rest of the Eurozone? Let me say this. Listen, I would say this to everybody who's watching this. This economic crisis is like a cancer. If you just wait and wait thinking this is going to go away, just like a cancer is going to grow and it's going to be too late. What I would say to everybody is get prepared. Uh, this is not a time right now to... Um, wishful thinking the government is going to sort things out. The government don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. Goldman Sachs does not care about this rescue package, neither does the big funds. So actually, what I would, I, I would actually tell people, I want to help people. Uh, people can make money from this. It isn't just traders. What they need to do is learn about how to, how to make money from a, a downward market. Uh, the first thing people should do is protect their assets, protect what they have. Because in less than 12 months, uh, my prediction is, the savings of mil millions of people is going to vanish. Uh, and this is just the beginning. So I would say be prepared and act now. The biggest risk people can take right now is not acting. Alessio Rastani, thank you very much for talking to us. Do you dream about the economy at night? I try not to. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmare. Right. 18 minutes past 11. Uh As veterans never knew about the existence of a regimental diary which was kept during the war. The BBC has been given exclusive access to it, as Robert Hall reports. Yes. May 1980, the SAS brought to the public's attention in the most dramatic way as they ended the Iranian embassy siege. Their story.